My favorite day of every build is tire day, and here it is for the 2022 Toyota Tundra. So what we've got here is a set of Goodyear Fierce Attitudes in a 35 by 12 and a half sitting on the stock 20 inch TRD off-road wheels. If you've never heard of the Fierce Attitudes, you're not alone. I hadn't heard of them either until I ordered this set. As you guys know, I've been very consistent in the past with the Goodyear Duratrax and the Ultra Terrains. Had a set of each of those on my third generation Tacoma and my fifth generation 4Runner. Also had a set of Goodyear Duratrax on the FJ Cruiser, and I've been very pleased with both of those sets of tires. And that was the plan for the Tundra as well, was to go with either the Ultra Trains or the Duratrax. But as you guys know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and there's shortages of literally everything, including tires. And so I couldn't get this tire size on either of those models um, and so it was a good chance to try out something new and for what it's worth these tires do look awesome on the tundra they are a mud terrain tire and so they've got a very aggressive tread pattern as well as sidewall and the tundra is just made for 35s anything bigger than that is just bonus points um, before i do get the question the truck is lifted it's got a two inch lift kit in the front i just installed that if you want to check out what the truck looks like uh, with the stock tires link to that in the upper right hand corner and i also did the lift kit myself if you guys want to try that out it's not as hard as you might think so the do-it-yourself video is also in the upper right hand corner the other question that i know i'm going to get is whether these rub the answer to that is no i've got zero rubbing even in off-roading situations um, i have heard conflicting reports about 35s rubbing in stock configuration some people say that they don't but other people say that they do so my guess is the people that say that they don't haven't left the parking lot um, and the people that say that they do are probably correct before my Tundra arrived, I had a pretty long debate about whether to go with 35 or 37 inch tires. And even though the truck is sitting on 35s right now, not all hope is lost for 37s down the road, but I decided to start off with the 35s for a few reasons. Uh, within the truck segment, there is a wide range of builds. There are some of you out there that are gonna do the really aggressive builds, giant lift kits and big wheels and tires and aftermarket bumpers. And some of you are gonna keep your trucks completely stock. And then of course, many of you are gonna do something in in the middle that's generally where i land and one of my favorite looks for a truck is basically stock leveling it out keeping the stock wheels and going with a more aggressive set of tires and so that's what we've got here this is phase one of the build i wanted to start off with the 35s to be able to give information to you guys my subscribers because i know many of you either own the third generation tundra you got one in order or you're considering buying one and i want to be able to help answer questions that you might have and so with the 35s we're going to be able to check out how these affect performance how they affect fuel economy and as i mentioned looks like we're good on rubbing but if something were to arise i'd be able to provide information to you guys on that as well once we've gone through that whole test cycle then potentially i'll move on to a phase two build but that is going to depend on how these tires affect performance how they affect fuel economy and if there are rubbing issues um, i didn't want to jump right into 37s and have a bunch of headaches on my hand um, and so that's why we're starting off with the 35s the other thing is that because this is an all-new truck there's not a lot of great suspension up great options available just yet. And so I don't want to spend a lot of money on a midterm solution and then throw it away and spend more money on the final solution. So I started off with just a $43 uh, front spacer lift on the truck. And then when options specific to the third generation Tundra come out, I saved my money to spend that money on a more permanent solution. The other thing that I like about this option is that since I went with a set of mud train tires, it's going to give me the opportunity to experience those. I've always had all train tires in the past. And so I'm curious to see how these uh, perform in comparison when it comes to ride quality quality, when it comes to you know fuel economy, um, how they perform off-road compared with an all-terrain tire, testing all, all of that, and then getting back to you guys with some of that information. All those possible 
couple phase two build schemes aside, I could not be happier with the transformation of the Tundra and where it's sitting currently. The 35 inch Fierce Attitudes look absolutely awesome. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how they perform as well, to see what they do to ride quality, to performance, fuel economy, and most importantly, the off-road chops. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more videos of the all new Tundra, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.